If you're in Japan and want photos like these, you're gonna want to stick around. If there's anywhere to rent a kimono and actually walk around Japan, Kyoto is the place where you want to go. Mm -hmm. So uh, the way the place that we went to is actually called Wakana Kimono Rental, and it was quite a fairly seamless experience for me. The whole booking process, we went to Kluk and we just booked it through there. For guys, uh, I have to say it's actually a lot easier than the world it is, is for so girls. Unfair. Actually, even just picking out the yukata, girls had different sections of it. So there are some that you can get regardless of the package. Mm -hmm. And then there are some that you have to top up money for. Oh, but yeah. not for guys. I think yeah, they yeah. like guys will be kind of more okay with whatever outfit they can find. <laughs> can it's true. the pink text, guys. Pink it's text? real. Yeah. I like, don't know what that is. Like the pink text is like things for girls are going to be more expensive. Oh. Even if it's a similar thing. Like you buy a razor for a guy, it's yeah. a lot cheaper than a razor for ladies. Oh, I didn't know that was actually a thing. Yeah. Oh. Even kimonos have pink tags. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, it was really fun and I'm glad we went for it. Even though the day before, I was mm -hmm. actually a little bit reluctant to go because I feel kind of shy and self-conscious about posing. Anybody <laughs> ever feel that way? Or, um, but then I thought... You know, I'm never gonna get any younger, <laughs> so I better record the memories. And it's not like we're gonna be in Japan all that much. So yeah. I'm glad I went, even though on the morning itself, I realized that I didn't bring my contact lenses. And usually mm -hmm. when I take photos, I do like to remove my contact lens because, you know, the reflection and blah, 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 blah. And so I had a little bit of a meltdown because I also started googling girls in glasses and kimono and there weren't many things that came up with it. Mm. So I was like, oh my god, nobody wears glasses with kimonos. And then Rizal was being helpful, so he googled it as yeah. well. And he found out that in Japan, women were forbidden to wear glasses in the workplace at one point. They've banned it. So they've, they've like unbanned it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then that made me even more self-conscious because I was like, oh my god, nobody wears glasses in Japan. <sighs> but yeah, anyway. But, uh, but it's a type, right? Like, I, I feel like in anime, <laughs> you see that uh, quite mm -hmm. often. Girls in kimono with glasses. So I didn't think it was that, like, weird. Uh, maybe because I watch a lot of anime, I didn't think it was that weird. But apparently, yeah. it actually is. But apparently, I'm a type. Like, <laughs> librarian type or whatever. <laughs> Yeah, but anyway, if you go, I'm sure the staff are trained to make you feel beautiful anyway and good looking, right? They keep telling us, oh my god, it looks so good, kawaii desu! <laughs> <laughs> Even if you look horrible. No, I'm just kidding. Yes. Again, this is why for girls, it takes so much longer, right? Not only is the kimono different, but they actually uh, help you do your hair as well because apparently there's this whole hairstyle that goes with the kimono. Yeah, not is... everything goes with kimono. Yeah, yeah. So there's so this hard. whole night, uh, this hairstyle. Yeah. And if you, uh, so this is uh, something which Kluk didn't um, provide, but if you booked in advance, you can actually have them do uh, makeup as well, your makeup. But Jess was resourceful enough to actually bring her own makeup kit, which she did. Very basic, like powder. <laughs> but still, it was really, really nice. And, you know, while she was doing this whole thing, I noticed a, a little mm -hmm. sign in the shop that said, if you want to do, like, photography and everything, we actually have photography services. So um, I asked them about it. Again, not included in the booking, but... Uh, for an additional fee, yeah. we got the, uh, this professional to come over and it was really, really quick. It took like 10 to 15 minutes for yeah. him to come over and he was waiting for us to get ready. And then that was it. He actually took us around the whole shrine and, um, you know, stopped us every time, tried to take our pictures, all that here and there. And I thought it was a really, really cool experience. And it's mm -hmm. something which I feel, yes, it, it's not cheap. Uh, but at the same time, it's one of those memories which I think when we look back on it, it'll mm -hmm. look really, really nice, right? Yeah. Like we went around in a kimono for a whole day mm -hmm. and we were like in some really, really nice places. Yeah, and at first I didn't think it was worth it to have a photographer, but mm -hmm. I would say that he helps us to find the best spots for photos, I think, because yeah. it was an unfamiliar area. So we would have had, like walked around a lot and tried to find the right angle or have to ask passerbys to take photos yeah. for us. So it was kind of nice and he was really friendly as well. So we had a good chat with him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Shout out to you. Yep. Cha -ching! Yep, here's the tag. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so if you're feeling self-conscious about it, I would say don't worry because the people who are in the business, they're going to help you feel a lot more comfortable. And in the end, I think it was really fun, yeah. actually. 
And yeah. I think we had some amazing photos as well. I really, really liked it. The whole experience of it. <laughs> yes, and I will learn to feel beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wakana forever.